Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning ladies and gentlemen For all the horrible, all the judges And for the all audience who are present here I have a little question for you How are you today? I hope all of you have a great day today Ladies and gentlemen Let me introduce myself My name is Diani Adeva Lazwardi from Muhammad Yatsu Junior High School, Yogyakarta. On this occasion, I want to tell a story and the title is The Legend of Situ Bagadid. By the way, did you have heard this story before? Okay, when you don't have heard this story, I hope you enjoy and keep on watching. Once upon a time, in the West Java, there lived a very wealthy woman in a small village. She lived by herself in a very big house. But she was very greedy, so people call her Nyai Bagandit, the greedy, wealthy woman. woman in this village. <laughs> All this wealth are mine. No one can take off a little cent from me. I have all of this by my own. So why I have to share the things with the other? That we should talk about. Whenever the villager needs some money, they borrow from her. But when they return it, The villager have to pay double. We then don't want to pay double. Nyai Bagan was called her servant to pay the villager belongs. Nyai Bagan also hated the guard. She told the guard is a lazy people. She never felt a little sorry for any guards come to her. One day, a very old woman with her son come to her and ask some help. She said, Nyai Bagandit, please help me. We don't have any supplies to eat again. We were starving. Hey, the poor old woman. Did you don't see this is my house, not a restaurant? And you have to know, I don't care about you or your son. Wherever you're starving or dying, is it not my business? Said Nyai Bagandit. The old woman didn't know from Nyai Bagandit's side. So Nyai Bagandit would spray her with some water. Get away from me! You can make me dirty and you can make my house dirty. The old woman get wet. Before the old woman get wet, the old woman said to Nyai Bagandit, Nyai Bagandit, you have everything, but you never have people. Just wait until the God give you a punishment. But Nyai Bagadid didn't care from the old woman's said. She just looked the old woman with the psycho face. Nyai Bagadid didn't feel a little sorry for the old woman. When she got angrier, she forced the old woman and her son get out of her yard. Shut the foolish woman. Did you stone she is? And come to me to some help. Ew. A few days later, a very old man with a stick to walk come to her and ask some water. Nyai, please give me some water. I'm so thirsty. If you don't mind, I'll take the water from your well. 
Hey, the poor old man. No one can take my water. Any drop of my water, just only for me. Go away. The old woman, the old man went by. He used his stick to walk. And he stopped by the nearby house yard, put his stick on the ground, and shot it. Nyai Bagandit, you don't want to lose any drop of your water. Now, I will give you more. He took his stick out of the ground, and the, the water came out, burst out into the air. The village was swept and turned it into the lake. Nyai Bagandit was drowned with all her wealth. Help me! Somebody! I can swim! I have a quick question for you. When you're in there and heard Nyai Bagandit need some help, do you want to help her? When I'm in here, I don't want to help her. And what's going on next? Yes, no one to help her. Because what she did in the past. And now the village was turning into the lake. And people called the lake Situ Burgundy. The moral fall we can take in this story is we have we have helped each other because we live with people. Don't be greedy because greedy can make disaster. You don't want to make disaster, right? Okay, that's all for me. Thank you for your attention and I hope you enjoy. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.